Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's had a huge impact on the UK and that's once again Brexit. Now there's been a lot of talk about its economic and political effects, but what about how it's shaped people's identities and social attitudes? In this video, we're going to explore how Brexit has changed the way Brits see themselves, how it has influenced their sense of national identity, and how it's impacted the way people in the UK relate to one another. So let's get into it. Brexit has done more than just impact the UK's relationship with the EU. It's also reshaped how people within the UK view each other. One of the biggest social changes has been the deepening of divisions. The Leave and Remain camps have been about more than just a vote on EU membership. They've become almost cultural identities. People are often categorized by how they voted and this has created long-lasting polarization. Many of you might remember the debates, the arguments, even within families or among friends. Social media became a battleground. The referendum tapped into deep feelings about what it means to be British, leading to intense emotional reactions on both sides. But here's the thing. Brexit exposed and in some cases widened pre-existing fault lines. Social divisions, whether based on age, education, region or class, have come to the surface in ways we haven't seen in decades. Younger people, for instance, for instance, were more likely to vote Remain, while older voters generally lean towards Leave. The geographic split between urban and rural areas and the differences between England and Scotland became more apparent. Brexit wasn't just a political decision, it was personal for many people. So let's talk about how Brexit has impacted national identity, and this is a big one. Before the referendum, many in the UK saw themselves as both British and European. For some, being part of the EU was an important aspect of their identity, representing a modern, outward-looking version of Britain. For those who voted Leave, the idea of sovereignty and control was key. Brexit was a chance to reclaim a sense of Britishness that, in their view, had been diluted by decades of EU membership. Many felt that their identity was tied to national pride and independence. But Brexit also reignited discussions around the identity of the United Kingdom itself. Scotland and Northern Ireland, in particular, have experienced a shift in how they view their place in the UK. Scotland, which overwhelmingly voted to remain, has seen a surge in discussions around independence. In Northern Ireland, concerns about borders and identity have resurfaced, especially with the creation of the Northern Ireland Protocol. And this has led to renewed questions about Irish reunification. In England, the concept of English nationalism has gained more visibility. For some, Brexit has been an opportunity to celebrate a more distinct English identity, separate from broader British or European ties. Another area where Brexit has had a major impact is attitudes toward immigration and multiculturalism. For a lot of Leave voters, control over immigration was a huge reason for their decision. Many people felt that the EU's freedom of movement policy had led to unchecked immigration, which they believed had put pressure on public services, jobs and housing. However, post-Brexit, the conversation around immigration has evolved. While the UK has introduced a points-based immigration system, there is still a sense that opinions on immigration are more divided than ever. Some surveys show that attitudes toward immigration have softened slightly since the referendum, possibly because people feel that, now with control, the debate is less urgent. Others, though, remain deeply concerned about the issue. Brexit also sparked broader debates about race, multiculturalism and what it means to belong to the UK. For many people from immigrant backgrounds or ethnic minorities, the referendum brought up uncomfortable questions 
about their place in the country. Some reported feeling less welcome, especially with the rise in incidents of xenophobia and hate crimes immediately after the vote. But it's important to point out that Brexit hasn't just led to negative attitudes. There's also been a rise in solidarity movements where people are actively advocating for a more inclusive and tolerant society. In a way, Brexit has forced people to confront these issues head on. Another factor that's shaped social attitudes since Brexit is the role of the media and trust in politics. Throughout the referendum campaign and in the years following it, the media played a huge role in framing the debate. Tabloids in particular took strong positions, often amplifying the most extreme voices on both sides. And this contributed to a lot of the hostility we saw online in the, in the public discourse. The rise of fake news and misinformation has only worsened public trust in media and politics. And let's be real, many people now feel disillusioned with politics altogether. The promises made during the referendum campaign, like extra funding for the NHS or the ease of negotiating trade deals, haven't exactly played out as expected. This has left a lot of people questioning politicians' motives and feeling betrayed by the political process. So where does that leave us? Brexit has undoubtedly reshaped social attitudes and identity in the UK, but it's still a work in progress. Some divisions remain, but there's also potential for healing. As time passes, people are starting to adapt to this new reality and there is room for dialogue and understanding. In a way, Brexit has forced the UK to reflect on its identity, what it means to be British, English, Scottish, Welsh, Northern Irish, and how the country fits into the wider world. All right, that's a wrap for today's video. Brexit had clearly had a profound effect on the UK, not just politically, but socially and culturally. But what do you think? How have you seen Brexit change social attitudes where you live? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. See you next time. And you know, the next video is right here in the end screen.